Okay, everybody, welcome back again. This is Michael, and we're going to start the second stage of making your dough. And now you have a Polish. If you decided that you wanted to leave it on the counter for the four hour period of time, you might want to put it in the fridge for a little bit of time, for maybe the 15, 20 minutes, just to let it cool down. What you don't want to do is work with an overly hot Polish, because as you heat up your dough with stretching and kneading and everything like that, it can start to actually break apart for you, which is what you don't want. One. Cool it off a little bit in the fridge, but it doesn't have to stay there for long. If you're taking it out of the fridge from the 24 hour period of time, you want to let it rest on the counter for a little bit of time, maybe 15, 20 minutes, just to kind of gradually almost come up to room temperature. That's going to actually help you make sure the same thing that you don't have a dough that's really hard to work with. So now we kind of find our poolish like this. So we're going to add the two thirds cup of water to the poolish and we're going to kind of mix up the poolish so that way we can incorporate the water and the poolish that was made and the goal behind it is we're just trying to get it to kind of be more of a milky substance not a dough right now but something that will roll off the back of the spoon really easily so we're kind of breaking it up and making almost kind of a yeast mixture that we're then going to incorporate the rest of our bag too so we'll start with just the poolish in the water, kind of mixing it up. And the goal is, is to get a consistency that easily falls off the spoon. So once you have it where it's easily kind of falling off the spoon, you know that it's a little bit mixed up, just kind of mix it a little bit more. Make sure that once again, that everything is kind of coming apart. And I know this kind of looks like a mess right now, but it's gonna to come together really quickly for you. And it's gonna make the job really easy. One step that you need to do that I forgot about always in cooking and everything like that, make sure that you wash your hands because we're gonna put our hands in this dough. You could use a spoon if you want to, but that's a lot of extra work. So wash your hands off and make sure that they're nice and clean before you put it in your food. And what you're gonna do is, number one, make sure you're done mixing this. Go ahead and get the rest off the back of the spoon. That way you don't waste any of it. You no longer need the spoon. And you're gonna add in the rest of the bag to your bowl. And it's gonna sit in there like that. Also, at this particular stage, you wanna add in the olive oil packet as well when you're mixing and incorporating this stuff. Now, what the olive oil is going to do is gonna help you with the dough that makes it easier to work with, a little bit more forgiving in the rest of this, and it's gonna help you out as far as color is concerned when you put it in the oven later on. So now, we're just gonna simply mix it together with our hand. You can just simply go in a circle motion. I don't suggest putting both hands into the bowl. You only really need one hand. Also make sure that you're scraping the sides. The reason why you only need one hand is because you want one clean hand and one that's in the flour, because that'll help you out in if you ever have anything else. Or if you forgot a step and you need to throw the olive oil in now, then that's where you would do that. So now, as I continue to mix this together, if you notice, it's gonna start creating kind of a shaggy dough. And really, it doesn't take long to come together, which is kind of nice, okay? And you're just gonna keep on mixing, keep on grabbing it with your hands, and as you're doing that, start pulling it away from your fingers. It doesn't really take lots and lots of time to do this, but eventually, you're gonna start getting a dough ball. And as you continue to mix, it will come together. Make sure that you're also trying to scrape the sides of your bowl so you incorporate all of the flour that you had in the packet as well as all of the other ingredients for you to make your dough. Just keep on pressing away, pulling stuff away from your fingers, and eventually your dough is gonna come fully together and it's gonna be one kind of whole ball and be easier to work with. So now, once you get to a stage where the dough is kind of coming together, you'll see that it's building a ball and it's not necessarily sticking to your hand completely anymore. That's when you know you're kind of getting close to ready to let this do its kind of first rest and bulk ferment for you again. The goal behind this rest is just to relax the dough a little bit and help it build gluten. So that way, once you're starting to stretch it and make the full ferment, you can then 
um, have a dough that kind of comes together really easy. So you'll see this is kind of shaggy. It's a little bit sticky still. And realistically at this particular point, you just put it on the counter and you do nothing. And all you have to do from here is simply take this and cover it up. Now it's gonna sit under there for about 15 minutes. And when we come back, we're gonna be able to get it to its next stage.